All right, we're going to take a few minutes and perform a walkthrough of migrating from Adobe DTM, Dynamic Tag Management, all the way over to Adobe Launch, the next generation API first tag management system by Adobe. So we're going to start here on a web page that actually does already have DTM on it, as well as an, a wealth of Adobe technologies deployed. We can actually take a look at all the technologies that are deployed by using the Adobe Experience Cloud Debugger. You can see that we're using DTM, we have analytics on the page, the Experience Cloud ID service, Target, and Audience Manager through server-side forwarding as well. If we want to learn a little bit more about the deployment, we can leverage the launch switch here. And here you can tell that it's telling me that DTM is detected. And we can actually click through to the assessment tool in order to learn just a little bit more about um, the process for migrating over to, um, to launch. Now, we can actually leverage this launch assessment by learning a little bit more about whether my implementation is ready to be migrated from DTM to launch. And so I can just simply drop my DTM script URL in here, click Submit, and then the tool is going to go through and find all the different potential opportunities for issues when I migrate from DTM to launch. You can see that um, there aren't any issues when it comes to my page load rules. However, there are two issues when it comes to my event rules. First of all, um, the tool is really nice. It tells me that there's a dead header rule that has a, a bit of code that is unsupported. Same thing with the dead image rule in that that also has um, some unsupported code that is within it as well. So I want to make those changes. Next up, we've got some data element changes as well. Um, this is a recommended change in that it's using deprecated code, satellite.notify. Also, we have some unsupported code here, some more recommended changes as well. And finally, there aren't any issues with my uh, Adobe Analytics tool library. Now, each of those changes, I can make them here on the video for you, um, but that won't be terribly exciting. So instead, you know what we'll do is we'll actually continue to migrate the entire um, library from DTM over to launch. So I'm here in DTM and I have the opportunity to, to once again see all the different tools that I've deployed, um, but there's a button called upgrade to launch that is accessible to me where I can upgrade this property to a launch property. Now when I click that button, we have only two options available to us in order to make things nice and simple. First of all, we want to uh, decide whether we want to keep our DTM production embed code for our launch production environment. What that means is that in my HTML, um, I have this link to a DTM embed code. If I wanted to save some time um, and some pain uh, dealing with my IT team, I could check this box to say, you know what, I wanna keep the exact same embed code on my page so that I don't have to use a new embed code using from launch. It's a really nice feature. The other thing that I want to do is disable my DTM property after my upgrade. What that means is that I will no longer be able to make any changes to my rules, to my tools, or to my data elements within DTM. And that's good because if I don't check that box, then that means that I'll still have the ability to make changes in DTM as well as launch, which is a no-no when it comes to tag management systems. Really, you just want one system of record for making those changes. So I'll go ahead and click Upgrade. And now our backend system is uh, migrating all of my rules, all of my data elements, all of my tools over to launch, as well as creating a brand new property in launch as well. So you can see here in launch, I've got just four different properties that currently exist. When uh, this is complete, I'll be able to see a brand new property that is focused on my SAR page. Let's go ahead on over to launch and I'm going to refresh this page. Now that the property has been migrated, you can see that there's a brand new property here 
named SIR, the same values that were over in the DTM property, as well as some information about the fact that this was migrated from DTM and the current day and uh, time of the migration. So when I click through to it, well, the first thing that we'll see is that we've got all of my rules are here in DTM, as well as all of my data elements. Finally, I have my extensions, and here I can see that I have all of the same extensions that we we're looking at earlier, as well as my pre-built adapter is set up, and my environments, and the steps to go through publish. If I head back on over to DTM, now you can see that my upgrade to launch is complete, and I can view this property in launch by just simply clicking. However, I obviously just already refreshed the page over here in launch. Those simple steps are what's required to make that migration from DTM over to launch. However, there's one more step to take before launch is actually on the page within, um, within my web property. So if I go back on over here and I refresh the page, you'll notice that my, um, my plugin here still says that DTM is detected. And the reason for that is I haven't actually published anything in launch to overwrite the library that exists for D uh, and is powered by DTM. So what I'll do is I'll actually uh, make those recommended changes from the migration tool and I'll do those quickly. Now that that is complete, I can head back on over to my web page and give it a hard refresh. And now you can see launch has been detected. We migrated from DTM. Here are my environments accessible to me and we're good to go, ready to launch. Thank you.